So I've got an old friend from Strictly, Teresa. Yeah. So what other ones have you had? Is that um, one guy, um, very early on, actually one of the very early series, um, Vicky and I were doing a fitting with him and he had the biggest testimonials. I can say that word, I don't want to say the real. <laughs> what, bollocks? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like, in, I, I, honestly, he was trying on a pair of, my, my son's laughing at me in the window up there, I can just see. <laughs> um, he was trying on a pair of Latin trousers, which are tight, you know, and Vicky and I looked at each other thinking, oh my God, he cannot go out. That can't happen. That's obscene. He can't go on stage like that. Um, so we had to redesign trousers for, for him. And I can, my memory of, of him walking down the stairs in a, a towel suit, and we had to lower the crutch so much that he looked like a penguin. You know, like, it looked like his legs were, they were ridiculous, ridiculously large. But was um, his, what, like, like they... a hammock and... But, and then his willy was quite small. I mean, by comparison, it was the yeah, whole thing comparison, huge. Yeah, it was just the, you know, the... <laughs> it's... Uh, low-hanging yes. fruit. The low-hanging fruit. Yes, very low-hanging. Very, well, and, and big. He seems, he wasn't, he didn't think anything was abnormal at all. I think it's just, I mean, maybe, you know, boys do see other boys' bits, don't they, when yeah. they're having a wee and think, folks, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, just, anyway, so there was that. So we had to make like a lycra. I remember I'd been left in the room with him um, and having to make like a lycra hammock for him, like in a particular <laughs> costume to sort of try and wash it in. Yeah. Oh <laughs> because like my... a pair, of, ordinary pair of knickers was not doing it. An ordinary pair of pants yeah. was not, even a small pair of pants was not containing it. Anyway, so oh God, there was that man. I'm not going to tell you his name. No, um, and yeah. then another <laughs> funny occasion was uh, so we had a lady a lady contestant and um, sh uh, she would come in and and a lot of people are really really shy you know because it's like going to the doctor you are asking people to strip off in front of the, in front of us and um, but this lady was an exception in that she was she she's completely used to it and the, virtually the first time we met her she dropped her jumpsuit and she was stark as in front of us like, oh okay we didn't actually we're not at that stage yet but thank you very much um, one day I was fitting her and the same thing, she, you know, you come into the, the, the little, it's not a changing room, is it? It's like an yeah. area of room with a curtain and she's standing there starkers. And I noticed that her pubes were like quaffed, <laughs> you know, like they, it looked like, you know, like an old lady has rollers in her hair. All look oh, like, like a perm. A perm. And I was like, oh, I, maybe I hadn't noticed it before or she's done something different. It sort of died as well. So I'm like, okay, so I didn't, didn't say anything, obviously. So carried on the fitting, that's fine, you know. She went, and I'm tidying up the fitting room, and then I find some hair on the floor that was the same colour. I was like, oh my God, is it a merkin? Was it, I mean, I've heard of those things, but I don't know that anyone, why on earth would anyone wear one? I'm like, oh my God, that's what it must be. I pick it up with the scissors, and I go out and Vicky's just sitting outside. And I was like, oh my God, I think she's just dropped her merkin, look. And it wasn't, it was Otty's wig that she'd cut a little bit off. Oh my <laughs> then it had God. to be the same colour. And I was like, oh my God. I was convinced, absolutely convinced it was this lady's merkin. So, um, yeah. Oh, she had literally just cut her hair, a bit off yeah, her hair. She wears lots of wigs and I think- Yeah, it okay, yeah. Left it on the floor, you know, they're messy dancers, you know. So, and I hadn't noticed it before, but tidying up the, I was like, oh my god, but how bizarre to have a perfectly permed. I know, but maybe it maybe I just had never noticed it before. Yeah, uh, I was like, oh, that's different. I mean, you really have seen it all, you really, and, and it's, it is, you're right, it's almost like being a doctor, you have to. You know, there's the code of practice, whatever they call it, you know, the, the secret code of practice that you can't say anything. And no, because those people won't know that it's them. Exactly. You know, like, you know so, yeah. Um, yeah, I've got lots of memories. I mean, all everyone in wardrobe have, you know, like, you know, yeah, has. of course. Um, you know, we're all, yeah, we've, we've all got lots of talent. You should get Vicky on. I know, I said, well, will you tell her? Will you tell yeah. her? Give me a yeah. shout. Yeah. Um, yeah. That would be brilliant. I'd love to speak to her.
Yeah. All right, darling, well, listen, I'm going to let you get back to the sunshine. And, um, Teresa, so good to see you. Thank you. And, and no, um, thank you. you also for being so amazing during that time and looking after me and being so sweet. You were amazing. You were, you were, you were, you were great to dress. You know, we've had some horrible people in. So, you know, you were lovely. So. <laughs> listen, you take care. You're looking gorgeous, by the way. Oh, I think, I think I'm going to go grey. I think. Yeah. See, I just don't know. I just don't know. I won't. I'll give up. You know, Let's like see. <laughs> yeah. All right, Angel. Well, listen, you Bye. take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.